Hey y'all, have you ever wondered what it's like to keep chickens? Today we're gonna take you on our morning routine so you can check it out. So we keep our chicken feed and other things we need for the chickens up at the house because we run a mobile system. So we've got a couple different kinds of chickens out there today, so we're gonna fill up our buckets before we head out to the field. So we've got about 30 layers out there right now and our roosters. So the first thing I need is a bit of layer feed. So I'm gonna get a few scoops of that into my bucket. But we're also raising out some chicks. So I gotta get some chick feed as well. The last thing I'm gonna need is just some pine shavings to refresh their nesting boxes with. So normally I would just jump right into refilling everything and let the girls out and that and all that. But today we are actually gonna be moving our fence. We move our chickens around our pasture so that they can fertilize for us, take care of bugs, and just kind of refresh the pasture. So today we're gonna to show you that part as well. So we use a setup from Premier One. We use their poultry net and we use their solar charger. It's worked well for us the last couple of years. So I'm just gonna turn off the system so that I don't get shocked and start unhooking stuff. So the first thing when I'm moving a Siskovich tractor or dealing with a Siskovich tractor on the daily is I have to move it because I want them to have fresh grass every day. So I'm gonna pull out my feeder and waterer because we have them sitting on the ground and then I'm gonna move them. Then I can go ahead and put everything back. Hello. Good morning. All right, come on birdies. get mad about food. Now we're gonna move the chick shell. We've got the kickstand picked up, we've got our shade picked up, and it's just a matter of picking up all these birds and getting on with it. Now it's time to refill the big guy's feed. We don't keep a huge feeder out here because we do have bears in our area and they're more interested in the feed than they are in the chickens. So we let it run out or almost out every day and then refill it every morning. Now that I've set up the feeder so the chickens will have something to do, I'm gonna go ahead and let them out. Free the birds. After I've got the chickens out of it, that's actually when I move my chickshaw coop because it's lighter this way and that's easier. After it's moved, I'm gonna go ahead and set up their shade and refresh their nest, nest boxes. So most of the time I don't have to do much with the nest boxes, but we have a little scooper here if anybody's decided they wanna poop in them overnight, which a little bit right there and you might even find a surprise first thing in the morning <laughs> but then I just make sure that I can't see the bottom of the crates that helps to keep our eggs clean so we have two girls that have decided to go broody which you can tell that because they are not getting out to go get the feed first thing in the morning and they'll get a little bit aggressive when you say hey get off your nest They'll start trying to peck at things. What about you? Are you going to be grumpy? Yes. Hear the squeal and all the feathers going up? 
We don't have running water out in our pasture and it's a much longer haul to bring water from the house out to the pasture. So we just stop over in the creek and now that I have empty buckets from doing my morning chores, I can fill those up to deliver water to the chickens. So I like to keep my water as close to the water source as possible. It just keeps me from having to haul water very far. And we make sure we refill it every day so that they've got fresh water that's not warm from the day before. We have the same water for the little guys that are in the Scovich coop. I just fill it up out here and take it on into them. Our local fruit stand man dropped us some overripe watermelons, so we're going to give those to them this morning. So our daily chicken chores only take us about 15 minutes, so it's really doable. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments about how you manage chickens on pasture, uh, leave us a comment below. And if you want to see more videos about chickens, check out this link.